So hi guys, I'm Willy from Design Plus Code and in this video, for 5 minutes, I will show you how to make this boring scene into something that is like more dynamic and with only 3 small tips. So I will tell you how I make this uh, boring scene. So if you click play, a lot of game developers, what they do is it is pretty much easy to just drag and drop stuff into uh, into your screen and to have something static like this. But I will, but we will add animation, particle system, and some sound effect. Those are the three tips that I will show you how basically right now um, how to do it to make this scene a lot more enjoyable. So let's stop. Um, let's stop the simulator, and we will start with animations. Um, our, our designer here really helped me a lot with uh, making this main menu looks really good. And one of the thing is to be able to move those clouds around. So what I did is for each layers, we have clouds and groups. So what I did is I just created uh, an animation for every single items. So let's take for example, um, for this, for this video, I only have five minutes, so I will not show you really how I made those, those timelines. But um, if you enable this animator for, let's say, the pink mountain, and you play it, you see that it's just a um, left to right animation. So if you enable this for every single item, so let's say uh, the purple mountain, uh, some clouds here and there, sorry. And oh, I selected something that wasn't good. And we enable the animation. And now that you play, this is what animation can uh, do to your scene. It makes things move and it looks a lot more, like it looks better. The second tip would be particle systems. Particle systems is a little bit harder to understand but it's pretty powerful and is, it is actually really um, fun to play with. Here I have three particle systems. So let's enable uh, my Sakura ele element and I'm gonna remove this. And you see that here we have only one type of Sakura. And actually at the moment there is no uh, way of uh, randomizing uh, the image. So what I did is I just reduced the speed of uh, each particle system and I multiplied by three instead. So if I enable this one, sorry, you'll see that there's a different image. And if you have the third one, well, let's play it. You'll see that it looks a lot more natural because all the petals are randomized. So with animations, now your scene looks a lot better. And the third thing is to put audio. And this was really hard for me because I never worked with sounds before. So I'm pretty excited to show you how I did this. In your background element, you can just add a background uh, sound. So if you, enable, if you enable your background music and you click play, Oh, sorry, the background is a little bit. So now we have a background music. But what if you would add more animations to the buttons and all the rest? So what you would do is, let's put that more. So we're gonna go to the buttons and we're gonna enable uh, the animation for the buttons and also the sounds. So I don't remember, oh, here, in audio. So in your, in, in your audio manager, we will be able to enable this uh, component and every time that you will hover over the buttons, it will make another sound. So if you put all those things together, you will have something like this. And also, uh, one thing that I find really cool was to be able to use another particle system, which is the rain. And the final product should look like this. So this is how I, I turn my main menu into something really cool. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.